All right, so I got a uh, broken latch on this horse trailer. Jackson horse trailer. This goes to the tack uh, box or tack room. It's not even really broken. It's just this pin pulled out from the uh, the top bracket. I guess these are called junior latches. So here's a replacement latch. You can kind of see what it looks like on that side. So I guess time just has a way of doing stuff. And the good news is they redesigned this so that the uh, the head of the pen is on top now. So it shouldn't happen like this again, which I guess is good. So I think it fits. We'll find out. If this is kind of welded in place. You can see it's been tried to be pried out before. Um. <sighs> so the latch still works rather than trying to, you know, Put it back in place i'll just use a screwdriver there to get it loose and hello so this is the back side of it you got the handle on there just like the, the new one does uh so i just have to get this thing out and put a new one in we'll be uh over the stainless steel finish because you know what it looks a lot better and i don't i won't be able to match this paint all oxidized so we'll pop rivet it together with the uh, stainless steel pop rivets. It'll be hard to drill out. So that's what the plan is. See how this goes. But truthfully, I don't know exactly how this is held in. I know there's like an epoxy, uh, but since I'm not trying to save this, I'm just gonna try to manhandle it off and we'll figure out how it was put on after that. So there we are taking off. Look behind there. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like it's spot welded right there. And at that corner, they're starting to rip. And there. And there. So I'm going to just resort to uh, power tools and uh, cover your ears. Now you can see those uh, spot welds a lot better. They're just right in here. I guess I'll just try to grind those off. We'll see how this goes. Could only have been done from the other side. I don't know how they honestly did this. I'd be interested. Maybe they uh, weld it to the skin first and then weld the uh, skin to the frame. You really should see how they do that. Think we can even open the door anymore? All right, so there it is. You can kind of see, I don't know, they're just using this to seal. That definitely wasn't holding it. So yeah, it was just uh, spot welded in there. I don't know. Guess I'll clean up this opening a little bit and put it back in. Yeah, they're just calling this a uh, locking, wait, junior locking stainless steel flush door latch. There's a few different options, not stainless, just normal steel that you'd paint, uh, stainless but with no holes, and then stainless with holes, so. Uh, let's see. Don't have a lot of high hopes for this working perfectly. It doesn't look like I should have, huh? Well, it looks like it's still a little bit too narrow. That uh, 
pin on top is still fitting, near as I can tell. So, I have to grind some more. I bet it didn't. Huh, never mind. I was wrong. I did it. Alright, I think it'll work. Hey, it latches. I can't open it. Well, that wasn't too difficult. I don't really see a real reason to seal this thing with a construction adhesive. Just create a mess. So I guess let me get a drill bit. Alright, so I'm just using these uh, 316 stainless steel rivets. They're just blind pop rivets. I was gonna try to make the uh, use some aircraft uh, buck rivets, but the back side doesn't allow for me to get to it too easily. You'll see. So you can't see those holes on this side. I could never buck rivet it because of this framing where it's notched out. I just use my pneumatic riveter because stainless steel rivets are really difficult to use. Woo, that snapped good. Just so you know what a, a blind rivet works. This, uh, this ball right there gets pulled down as a mandrel through this uh, stainless steel tube. And you can kind of see it expand behind it. And then it breaks the stem off. That's how they work. Yeah, if somebody wanted to get in there, they could still drill these rivets out, but you saw me take it apart. If somebody wanted to get in there, they just would have had to hit it with a hammer and a chisel. So, the entire concept is, uh, you know, keep honest people honest. So, there it is. It still latches. Should I go crawl inside and see if I get locked inside? I bet I don't. Or maybe I do. All right. Yeah, we still work. Ultimately, I guess that works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it now. Uh, now that I showed everybody all the gear in there, I don't want them to get in there and steal it. Well, that was installation of a, a junior latching uh, stainless steel lock on a horse trailer. What was this, a uh, dual axle? Jackson horse trailer. The not horse trailers aren't normally my forte, but well, I guess a trailer is a trailer. At any rate, um, thanks a lot for watching. Bye. All right. Well, I'll just be using these uh, three sixteenths by I don't know. Who knows? I'm calling about half inch. Can you even see? 